Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying three different types of cheeses. These were bought at the Wisconsin Cheese Mart from Michael in Wisconsin. So thank you, Michael. I have the Farmer's Basil, the um, Muscata Mayhem Colby Jack cheese, and She's this is a Red Rock, a cellar aged Cheddar Blue. You can also see it better. So first we're going to try the, uh, this is Decatur Dairy a Broadhead, Wisconsin Farmer's Basil, pressed cottage cheese with fresh basil. Huh. That is the only information that's on it. Pressed cottage cheese. So now I will read you what it says. Farmer's Basil cheese, um, farmer's cheese originated on farms as a way to use milk left over after skimming the cream for butter. Two main styles evolved, a fresh cheese similar to cottage cheese and a semi-soft version cured for a shorter time. Wisconsin cheesemakers produce the semi-soft version. Decatur Dairy Wisconsin Farmers Cheese with Basil has a creamy, mild flavor with the addition of sweet basil, adding a delicious, herbaceous flavor to the cheese. Made with skim milk, Decatur Wisconsin Farmers Cheese is considered a lower fat and lower sodium cheese. Basil Farmers has a creamy, smooth texture similar to Havarti. Farmer's basil melts beautifully, making it a wonderful addition to any grilled cheese or burger. Receive, uh, let's see. You receive eight ounces of Wisconsin basil farmer's cheese per package, it's telling you. Decatur Dairy was established in 1942 in Monroe, Wisconsin, and has won several U.S. and World Cheese Contest awards with their delicious cheeses. This was $5.50 online. Uh, the, it is a young cheese between a soft and medium with a mild flavor. The pairing recommendations are... Um, beer, wine, and they're very specific on the websites, which one this goes best, best with, crusty bread, savory crackers, nuts, roasted veggies, or pasta. And like they said earlier, it melts beautifully, so you could use it for a cheeseburger or grilled cheese. That is the texture of string cheese. Mm-hmm. A little bit. It doesn't have the strings, but it's got that firm texture. It does. That's Almost what rubbery like. Mm -hmm. That's what it would remind you of. Not bad. I really didn't get the basil. Well, I got a, I guess see, a little bit there. I was going to say, though. I did. Yeah. yeah, it tastes like a green leaf. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. Uh, like you went outside and pulled a leaf off a tree and chewed on it. That's kind of what it reminds you of. Yeah, it really does. If you like basil, which we like yeah, basil. It's pretty strong. Um, it, it is a, it's a good cheese. I'm not used to having um, maybe that big of a bit of basil in one area right but i'm used to having it more spread out yeah um, well there's leaves in there but they're not all through there. i mean they're all through there but it's not like really dense you can right. see right there there's only like one or two right, right so if so. you slice it you're not gonna get those big hunks yeah. in every in every single yeah bite. it's not like you're laying one on top or anything right so. but that that is nice it's nice yeah I, the basil is a little much for me but this i'll probably mispronounce is the kazmeister creamery uh, Moscata Mayhem Colby Jack Cheese. It is like one ounce uh, is 104 calories. Let's see. Um, Colby Jack is a Slice cheese it. produced from a mixture of Colby and Monterey Jack cheeses. This natural semi-soft Colby Jack comes with a kick. A deliciously fiery blend mm. of habanero jalapeno and chipotle peppers brings home it. the heat maybe we should have tried this one last <laughs> you can see that see it was six dollars 25 cents online it is a young cheese between a soft and medium with a strong flavor the pairing recommendations are beer crusty artisan bread nuts pork and chicken <laughs> Wow. Get the peppers, that's for sure. It has a kind mm. of a smoky flavor. That's a chipotle. Oh, okay. Um, that has a smoky flavor, mm. but in a lot of heat, I really like that. That'd I be think. good on a cheeseburger. 
It would be good on a cheeseburger. I think it would be good too Ooh. if, uh, you know, I like to do the chicken breasts in the oven, baked chicken breasts. You could um, uh, take it out like 10 minutes before and put that on and mm -hmm. then put it back in the oven and let it uh, melt. Yeah. And that would be delicious. Anything you'd put pepper jack on. Yes. That is a very good, mm, isn't it's it? It's very good. The cheese is a really good flavor, too. And it would be good with just uh, crackers, too. <laughs> it would be. It is hot, though. Yes. So just keep in mind, yes. it's, it's got a burn in the back of your throat. It just sits there, kind of lingers it just, for a while. It's so nice. The, the flavor, you, you, get the, you get the flavor of the actual cheese with the heat, mm -hmm. and so it makes it all worth it. It, yeah. it, it, it is um, wonderful. Cheese. And like you said, you get that smokiness of the Chipotle too. Yes. So it's yeah, good. overall, I really, really yeah, like I that. Yeah, I do. I like that one. That's probably my favorite one. So yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. No, there's, other on here. there's no calories or anything, uh, so I'll just read from my paper. It says Roelli Cheddar Red Rock Cheese, made by are you having trouble? No, it's got like a run around it. I forgot what the best place to cut it. Oh. <laughs> Made by Roelli Cheese in Schulzburg, Wisconsin. This, softer cheese. this cutting edge Wisconsin cheese combines all of the greatness of a fine, a fine English mm. cheddar with the bite and creaminess of a French blue. Oh, yeah, it's got stuff in the middle. That's the probably the French blue. This Wisconsin cheese is open air aged in a cellar to enhance its rich flavor. This Wisconsin cheese strikes the perfect balance between sharpness and creamy texture. It is $8.75. Um, it is a young, soft, and pungent. What you're supposed to take that? And the pairing recommendations? There were no, um, when I checked on their website, there were no food recommendations, uh, pairing recommendations. It was just certain wines and beers. I took the outside edge off because it's not on the rest of the cheese. Right. No, here's, hold on, let me make sure. It's not on the rest of you cut. Ooh, that's a strong cheese. Mm-hmm. I have to say, well, I do not like blue cheese. It's it very light. strong. It kind of tastes right. I don't mind it. Oh, Lord. I wouldn't mind that. That's I like would... a bean boozled bean. It's very, it is strong. Wow. I, I understand what he's saying. However, they didn't mention crusty bread or crackers. I do think that would go well with crusty bread. I really do. But because it is so strong, what I would do, um, Kevin had it in kind of a thick block. I would uh, get my, my cheese, my cutter, and I would have it sliced very, very thin. That's all you need. All you need is a very, very thin slice to get the full effect of that cheese because it is so strong. So, and I think I think the thinner, the you would just appreciate it a lot more. Um, I actually like it. I think if you like blue, you like blue cheese though. I like blue cheese. Um, I think if you like blue cheese, you'll like it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's not going to make you like blue cheese if you don't like it. No. But my favorite is still this Kazmeister, this... Um, the jalapeno uh, chipotle. Uh, yes, it is. And, and you wouldn't know it, Colby Jack, you wouldn't know it by the name, but it is Muscata Mayhem um, Colby Jack. And it's just delicious. And mm, those, those spices in there... Um, overall, I mean, you've got three different ones here, so you can't really compare them. But just out of these three, this one's. I've awesome. had a hot sauce that had that same flavor. Yeah, I mean, this is this is that some smoky good stuff. flavor. Yeah. So, Michael, thank you so much uh, for sending us these. I will have a picture for you all at the end, and thanks for watching.